Hey guys, this is Dave with Audio In, and we are going to be taking a quick look at two sets of IEMs. Well, actually one IEM, and then I have a pair of earbud or the flathead style earphones. I have the Celeste Wyvern Ching or King. Apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Then I also have the BGVP DX7. So of course, in order to try and keep the video from going too long, I'm gonna do sort of a mini review of each set, but I will do my absolute best to try and squeeze as much information in as possible. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get started. So we'll go ahead and start with the Celeste Wyvern Ching. And again, apologies if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. So this is a budget set priced at $29. And it has a very similar tuning to the original, which takes sort of a harmonish approach, but with a little extra mid bass, similar to the Chu 2 And with the original Wyvern, I do think the tuning is pretty balanced overall, but I still feel like my attention is being drawn to the upper mids or vocals. And the Wyvern Ching does the same thing, but it does add even more upper mid range energy and it removes just a little bit of mid bass energy. And what that does is it results in an even more upper mid focused presentation than the original. Now, I do think there is is still enough bass to balance out the upper mids for the most part, but it is just a tad too vocal forward for me. And this being a budget set, it does have some of those issues that are commonly found in budget sets like bass bleed and unnaturalness in the mids due to a little bit of a dip or a recession in the mid range. However, that's a nitpick at this price point because those attributes are again, are very common even in the best budget sets that I own. It does, however, do some things pretty well like bass dynamics. And it also has very good upper mid range clarity and it even has a nice amount of upper treble energy, which helps with the air and shimmer. But just to sum everything up, I do still slightly prefer the original Wyvern over this one because the original Wyvern's upper mids are already a little too forward for me. And then they're even more forward with the Ching. Nevertheless, if you prefer a little more of a vocal forward presentation, then this might be a good fit for you. I will say that both the original and the Ching do both male and female vocals pretty well considering their price, but the original presents vocals a little in a little more of a relaxed manner, which I do prefer. In any case, I do still give the Ching a recommendation because for 30 bucks, the only other IEMs that I know of that can keep up with it are the original and then the Warner. So still a great set for the money. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the DX7. So the next we have the BGVP DX7, which of course is an earbud style or flat head style earphone. And if you've been watching my other earbud reviews, you might know that generally earbuds just aren't my preferred style of earphone. However, I really have come to a better understanding as far as what some of the draws are of this style for some consumers. But for me personally, it just seems like up to this point, I've had a pretty difficult time trying to find a set that I could connect with. But fortunately, that is not the case with the DX7. And as far as flat head style earphones go, this may be one of the best pairs I've ever heard or reviewed better even than the Alpha 3. So let me see if I can summarize my thoughts quickly. There are a couple of different things you can do with the DX7 in order to kind of tailor the sound to get closer 
to your sound preference. The primary method, of course, is using the two tuning filters that it came with. The Silver Set, which comes pre-installed, is gonna give you more of a warm, kind of a laid back and bass focused presentation. But unfortunately, technicalities do take a little bit of a back seat and they take a little bit of a hit because there is some loss in terms of resolution, soundstage, and instrument layering. And that's without any foam covers at all, which of course is the second way that you can modify the sound. And that's if you add the foam covers, especially the full foam tips. But then the sound becomes even more bassy. Now, just to clarify, it does still lack in terms of sub bass extension or sub bass rumble like you might expect from this style of earbud. And this is a much more mid bass focused bass. Needless to say, that was not my preferred tuning filter. But then when I switched over to the blue filters, plus then I added the foams, the full foams, I found that it opened up the sound quite a bit. And while it did still lack as far as sub bass extension, and it even maybe sounded a little thin in the mid bass, it came much closer to being something I could actually enjoy listening to. And if I'm being honest, the bass presentation, again, it was still a little hard for me to get used to. However, everything else was pretty good. It generally reproduced vocals and instruments naturally. It had surprisingly good levels of detail, but I think the thing that stood out to me or impressed me the most was how open it sounded. And I have a few good recordings that I always use for that. I use Macy Gray's Stripped album. Then the Hoff Ensemble's Innocence is another good one. And then of course, another go-to album for me is Jazz the Pawn Shop. And I have to say the DX7 did a pretty impressive job with producing that wider, more open soundstage. And it also provided good instrument layering as well. But just to kind of wrap this up, I have to say, this was quite a cool experience for me because I've been interested, you know this again, if you've been watching my videos, in trying to find a flathead style earbud that I can enjoy. And I think I've finally found it. And as I had stated a moment ago, the DX7 is the best earbud I've heard and reviewed, and it's now basically my favorite earbud. Not to mention it comes with a very nice modular cable and it's also nicely accessorized as well. So I've had a pretty cool experience with the DX7. So that concludes my reviews of the BGVP DX7 and Celeste Wyvern Ching. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. If you like my content, please take a second and hit that subscribe button also. If you would please like this video, please share this video. I hope you guys have an awesome day.